Hello, my name is Tomasz Kliman. I'm working at the Center for Social Competence at the University of Graz in Austria. And I would like to introduce to you the model of the basic levels of conflict resolution by Schwarz. Let's go! In order to achieve a solution in a conflict, the conflict parties must first recognize and accept the conflict. This is followed by an analysis of which people, groups and social systems are involved with which interests. And every conflict is characterized by communication, which is why the following three levels of communication must be taken into account. The rational level, which is about factual content, the emotional level, which is about emotions behind the opposing interests, and a socio-structural level, which is about social possessions, character, patterns, etc. Building on the analysis, one example is the model called basic level of conflict resolution according to Schwarz. He uses different levels to categorize the conflict resolution behavior of the parties. With the help of this model, one can estimate the current chances of reaching a consensus. According to Schwarz, all conflict resolution variants can be reduced to the following six-stage basic model. These six stages are escape, extermination, subordination, delegation, compromise and consensus. And now, subsequently, all these six stages are explained separately. Let's have a look. According to studies, escape as a pre-programmed instinctive behavioral pattern is usually the preferred option in a confrontation. Although some conflict situations can be certainly resolved with this tactic, the escape variant usually only has a postponing effect. If actors avoid a confrontation, there are no losers and a certain mostly healthy distance is established between the parties. Escape has the major disadvantage that no learning process can be initiated. Let's look on an example. Can we talk briefly about the dirty kitchen yesterday and your untidy behavior in the flat share? Uh, I don't have time right now. Uh, we will have to have this conversation another time. But it would be urgent because your behavior has an impact on our flat sharing life. As I said, we can have this conversation next week. Uh, until then, I will try to keep everything clean. If escape is no longer a viable option, a fight breaks out between the opponents. In the course of this struggle, both opponents try to destroy each other. The advantage of the extermination variant is undeniably that it permanently eliminates the enemy. The disadvantage, however, is that with the demise of the opponent, all other solution levels are eliminated at the same time. Let's look at a situation where we can observe an extermination. Mr. Huber, you will be transferred to our smaller headquarter in Linz. Your colleagues have often complained about you and are dissatisfied with the way you work. I've noticed for a long time that my colleagues are avoiding me. Would it be possible to have a conversation with you? And my work colleagues to solve the problem? No, this is my final decision. If it doesn't suit you, you are free to leave the company entirely. Subordination means that the conflicting party who takes the more central position, king versus subject, has the upper hand. The solution variant is only possible if two contradicting standpoints are opposed, whereby only one proves to be upright or useful, and the opponent accepts this contradicting point of view, albeit involuntarily. The advantage of this variant is the division of labor. 
enemies were not destroyed but submitted. The subordinate person could hope that the situation would be reversible. Let's observe a business meeting. I want you to do the advertising job immediately. And 10% cheaper because you're already behind schedule anyway. Yeah, but I have so little time at the moment. You have to stick to the time agreement. I get to work tomorrow and meet you on the price. Delegation means that the third neutral person is involved in the conflict who can act as a mediator between the parties and help them to find an amicable settlement. The third party ensures that communication between the counterparties is maintained. However, the delegation is only applicable under two conditions. Firstly, there must be a wrong and a right solution of the dispute. And second, the third party as a higher authority has to support to find the right solution. Let's look at an example. But I really want to watch this program. I have to know what happens next. But this film is only playing today and I've been waiting to see it for months. But it's bound to be repeated sometime. You're serious too? You already decided yesterday. So what? You are unfair. Mom should decide. The compromise represents a partial agreement in a selected area. The advantage of this option is also its disadvantage. Because an arbitration based on compromise is only a partial agreement and, if viewed negatively, the solution is a partial loss for both actors. When the parties could find a compromise, a distinction is made between lazy and good compromise. Let's have a look if we find in the following scene a compromise. I really want to go on vacation to the mountains this year. I finally want to see the sea again and sunbathe on the beach. What about splitting up the two weeks? We could spend one week by the sea and one in the mountains. That sounds good. A consensual solution can only be reached if the parties couldn't find a solution through the other conflict resolution variants. In this case, there is a so-called aporia, a logical hopelessness characterized by the following three elements. There are two conflicting interests or claims, both are true or justified, and both are interdependent. To resolve this situation, it is necessary that the two parties go through a learning process. In the end, there is a jointly developed resolution that reconciles the two opposites without one of the exit options listed so far. Let's take a look at the final example. Let's have pizza today. No, I don't like to eat pizza. What do you like to eat then? Let's order burgers. The burger restaurant doesn't have a lot of choice when it comes to vegetarian options. Then let's order from Culinarium. They have burgers and also vegetarian dishes. Yes, perfect. The model of the basic levels of conflict resolution has a hierarchical structure. But it is not certain that the next higher level will always be reached, as since worsening of the conflict causes a relapse to a lower level. It should be noted that an amicable agreement between the parties will only be possible if the actors are at the same level, meaning a consensual solution is only possible if both parties strive for a consensus. However, if one of the actors is still at the compromise level, only a compromise solution can be achieved. Thanks for watching and let your skills grow.